Chris Ward in now. Okay, that stuff's been done. I noticed a few things different I did. But believe me, as it goes along, you'll understand why. It's time to catch the smoke now. Now, there's the body, there's the fish. Remember, look how small it looks. So now we're going to line it up, eyeball it. Yeah, it's all right, that'll work. Now here's where the messy part comes in. Here's where the messy part comes in. We're just going to shave the body down here. Why it's messy, see. If you got a lot of these to do, you could buy these. And the thumbs are about the same. You know, for a couple more dollars you get out of making all this mess. Just basic, simple. Okay. Now we gotta taper toward the back. Be careful, it's small. This is the front. So you want to make sure you get a little. I remember when I'm working on here, I'm going to go into this head cavity here. And then, since this is the show side, and then we go back to the fish. Always smaller. Keep working your way back. And this is the tail. And here's his belly. Just make sure there's no points or nothing. pretty much it. But see, there we have our mess here. It's time to catch a smoke now. Okay, next, we're going to put a little wood wool, packing material. And we just play with it a little bit till we pull us off some. It's a small fish. And what we do, this lake, we'll make it like a layer. Put the layer on the show side of the fish. And here's some twine. And we just start wrapping it. This is for the fish filler and the scales. Something for them to latch onto as it dries. That's the magic part of it. Okay. We got that pretty. Use your thumbs. Making sure you got plenty of twine. I got that pretty well wrapped. Let me trim it off. Next, so the screws don't back out of it, I got a piece of masonite. the back side and that's where the screws go in to hold it to the board. Now this is the fish filler ordered from a company. Right here see it says fish filler mixed in a bowl and this is like cheap ice cream. You mix air and water with this and it turns into a material that dries pretty rigid. Now here is the the, the real body, the fish, 
and the artificial fish that's going to be used with the fish filler to kind of fill them all out. And uh, next time, I'm going to show you how to put all that together. Now the fish is ready to go. We got our body. We got a thing for our screws. Now we got our drying racks to use. And we're going to actually mount him and sew him up and uh, paint him to finish the job. You can use the same techniques on a 30 pound pike or strapper or a shark to a little goldfish or an exotic fish. You know, the same technique is used. But it is messy, a little messy. But you got to keep on it because the cleaner it is, the better it'll look. So, uh, now the fish has been put back in the freezer because I'm not going to mount him right now. I'm going to take him out, thaw him. I've got the body, I've got the board for the screws in the back. I've got my drying racks. I will go into depth and detail how to dry and all that good stuff. So, until next time, this is Stuff is Steve.